I'm not supposed to talk about this. Think about it. Cancer, is it a mystery? How about it's just a creature? How about it lives in a certain terrain? How about it lives in a certain system behind your veil? Do you really think you're hungry? This is another part of a PowerPoint that we do. It's about three hours long. It's about parasites. And this is really good for you to see because what lives inside you, you're going to see, is not going to want you to see this. Because a parasite means elusive to the host. Elusive. Hiding. Invisible. You can't see it, smell it, hear it, or touch it. But it's there. Remember, creatures live in the body not because of anything more than the terrain that we provide for it. Don't try to kill these creatures. And in fact, remember, these creatures are your children. Were they not born inside you? Were they not born inside you? If they were born inside you, then remember, there are more creatures than mostly everybody. Uh, Discovery Channel does a nice uh, documentary. And it talks about the creatures that live within us. And it tells, once you get 40 years old, and it's less than this, but once you're 40 years old, you're 50% not yourself anymore. Could you grab that one? 50% not yourself anymore, which means you're 50% alien creature that lives within the body. And these creatures, um, let's just go through a bunch of these ones. We talked about the global warming. We talked about a lot of this ideas on the other PowerPoint. So um, the reason being why, let's flip that back one sec. The reason being why we're going through this massive change is because of this band right here of stellar energy called the stellar cloud. The sun, our solar system, travels around this thing called the galaxy or called the 12 cosmi holy, holy temples, the Maseroth, or called the zodiac. Have you heard of that? The constellations. Each constellation is about 2,000 years. Remember, 2,000 years ago, someone did have the power to go, boop, reset, zero, 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 zero. Okay? Do you think you just, remember, who had the power to reset the button back to zero, zero? And we all follow it really good, don't we? What year is it? 2012, coming up. That's a 2012 year constellation called the constellation of Pisces, the kingfisher of men. The next constellation is when this sun goes inside this thing called the stellar cloud. And you can look at it. Pick of the day. We even have it on here if you keep on going. Go ahead and click to the next one there. You can see how, uh, <clears throat> if this was bigger, you'd see the top part here. But basically, Mars is losing its poles. Not, it's not global warming. That's a lie. Global warming? No, no. It's solar system warming because the sun is being terrain modified by the galactic center, which is GC, which is the galactic Christ. The one who runs the show is a really good question to ask yourself. You know you run your show, but who really runs the show? I'm not talking the, the government. We're not talking, we're talking all the way back to the source, the singularity. Who runs the show is the biggest ball in this galaxy. And this ball, go to the next one there, this ball has energy centers. And this is why you see how a lot of the head players, as I call them, the Pope, Hitlers, the Germans, they all wear the Maltese cross. We go through this a little bit, but I'm just starting to stimulate it in a couple spots. Um, you can see how uh, this is Saturn, and it's changing. It's got an energy on top of its northern and southern. Everything is being modified. Let's go to the next one real quick there. Um, Jupiter lost its stripe, as you can see here. This is a huge change. Look it up. Jupiter lost its stripe. It's not on CNN, though, is it? Britney Spears is, though. Donald Trump is. But not the loss of the ring of Jupiter. I think that would be very important for us to be able to know cosmically what's going on. As you notice that most people have no idea what's going on because we're supposed to be looking up, not looking this way. This is a terrestrial disease. Everybody's got a lot of lies, truth, secrets, and deceptions. But the cosmos never lies. It's a clock, an actual time clock. Tick tock, tick tock. As the clock strikes 12 on December of the 12th year of the 12th month, OK? And what, are we all turning into pumpkins? Right? No, the sun goes through repolarization. And the sun does a magnetic flip every 11.2 years. Look it up. NASA, the sun does a flip. Go to the next one. OK? So anyways, we'll, we'll, enough about, about cosmos. We can't get the full screen, huh? Shoot. So anyways, this talks about sea rising levels and all different things. So all we know is that we're being terrain modified. That's it, without getting specific. Now, if that's the truth, that means how do we stay in tune with the sun, Amundra, as the sun god calls it? And how do we stay in tune with one of the disciples? They call Mother Earth, Mary Magdalene, on the 12 disciples or the 12 uh, disciples of the, the Last Supper. Okay, remember, we're talking cosmos here. We're not talking terrestrial. 
So as you see the planet starting to light up, you know that there's a change in the cosmos. It's energy. And we're changing with the energy. We either change as, does anybody know who Eckhart Tolle is? How many people have read his book or listened to his CDs, which is very highly, highly uh, advisable if you wanted to be able to see behind the veil just a tad. It's called triality consciousness. What does Eckhart Tolle say? He says it throughout his book. Got the red pill or the blue pill, guys. You know what it is. Evolve or? What? Evolve or? Die. You either change your DNA to the new emerging system, carbon-based. No. We're crystalline-based here. Why? Because the system, let's go keep on going through that. And I'll just tell you which one to go. Sun rises two days early in Greenland. This is the stellar cloud, as you can see. What is this thing? This is super high energy plasma, causing whatever goes through it to, it's a magnet. The sun is what? A magnet. Are you a magnet? You're 18 gallons of salt water. Are you not? Everything is conductivity. And once we start eating heirloom foods with minerals back in, then now you can get some conductivity, and your body will regenerate and evolve in ways that you could not believe. Yes? Oh, sorry. The, the GMO, you can keep me on track, too, because there's a lot of stuff. The difference between GMO, hybridized, and heirloom. Heirloom means it hasn't been just like, Laura. Laura. Just like Laura said, it hasn't been manipulated in about 100 years. It wasn't here 100 years ago. And by the way, what does so mean? Well, what is this? Let's sound out the word. It's a pretty big name. And who do they control? They control a lot of everything that realistically you eat in that store that's 70% what? G, M, O, and hybridize. So hybridize is basically, when you get a banana, I didn't bring any, I don't think, let me see. Um, there we go. These are, these are regular bananas right here. These are heirloom bananas with seeds in them. They get sun-dried. Bananas aren't this big. And the different ones that you see. Huge bananas. Those are called hybridized. So hybridized is meaning that an apple is this big, an orange is this big, tomatoes are this big, and when you hybridize them, what do you do? We're now farmers and we're into what? Money. Poundage. What do we do? We're geneticists now and we just want bigger, more heavier weight, like the cacao at CCN 51 cacao, don't eat it. How do you know what it is and where it is? You don't. So you better go to a company that really you can trust because you only want to have the cacao called Arriba Nacional. It's called heirloom. The rest is GMO. It's hybridized. Get a stomach ache when you eat cacao? Well, I understand why. Okay? Mycotoxins, it's a weak strain. So if you eat weak strains, you are what you eat, what do you get? Weak. So mineralized, look at the color, you can't really see them, but these things are black inside. There's so many minerals. When do they expire? I don't know, this thing says a year or two. They last 10 years. Anything we have here doesn't expire, even though if it says, oh, it's getting close to expiration. Foods that have tons of minerals don't actually have minerals. Min Think of it this way. GMO foods have little minerals. They're only usually grown with three minerals. They have little minerals in their body. They're sterile. So you're eating foods that are demineralized, foods that are sterile, or foods that are hybridized. You are what you eat. What happens if you eat a big banana? How about a seedless, organic though? Oh, it's been grown with a couple of uh, such and such, but it's still seedless and it's still genetically modified. Because why? Hybridized. Watermelons don't get that big. I'm sorry. Okay, that was the Maltese cross. You can go ahead and see if you go back there just for a sec. You can see it's on everything. The Pope. What are you wearing it for? You're blue-eyed uh, Merovingian. Blue-eyed Merovingians. Blue-eyed race of, of uh, Hitler. Okay, and there's sort of like a weirdness here. It's sort of like a club. Okay, even in the crop circles. Look at these guys. Okay, so and you've ever heard of this guy called Saint Germain? Anybody heard of him? How come he's wearing it? He's buddies with Hitler then. He's buddies with the Pope. Buddies with all the kings and queens. See, what I see is this is called the galaxy game. And when our sun travels into one of those constellations, the four constellations of light, Christos comes back to town. And you're, one of, you're part of this Christos. Okay? If the sun travels around this thing, and this is the galactic center right here, the galactic center, remember, is this huge ball that runs the show. Who runs the show in the galaxy? It's one ball in the center of the galaxy, 4.3 light years wide. That means you have to go at, a, at the speed of light across its face. It takes 4.3 light years, a whole year at the speed of light, just four years just to get across its face. And this whole plane right here has 100 trillion stars in it, equidistant to the 100 trillion cells you have in your body. 
So once you find out that everything's a holograph, the skin's 98.6, isn't it? Skin surface temperature of the sun is 9,860, power of 10. You have 71% salt water in your bodies here, don't you? Okay, you've heard of it. What's the earth? 71% salt water. You have 100 trillion neurons in the top of your brain, 100 trillion stars. Our job is to connect our 100 trillion neurons and or make them so they actually can be activated so you can get more consciousness. Um, you can see this is the Babylonian sun cross. This is the Mayan calendar. Um, the, to finish off, you can just keep on going there. To finish off the, the idea of GMO versus heirloom, I can keep that one up for a sec. Uh, GMO versus heirloom versus hybridized. Stay away from hybridized. Again, this is my opinion. All you have to do is look up GMO slash rat studies. Whoa. I have them on here. Remember, this is a five hour PowerPoint. You can go through and see a normal rat, which gets about this big, if you feed them real food. Once you feed them fake food, what do you get? You get dwarf rats. Why would you want to be that way? Okay. Now, you're saying we only have five minutes. This is what we have. We have also, coming up in the future, uh, we only charge like for the weekend. It's like $35 for the weekend for a two-day event. Um, it's over at my house, over in Rancho de los Palmas in Moorpark. You can come to our booth, booth 500. Uh, we're going to be going through uh, different techniques with different people also. It's a workshop on learning how to open up the skin pores, putting on magnesium, fulvic acid, different types of techniques called gua sha, by drinking liquids to open up the different areas. Remember, the brain is a filter. It's a gland. Okay? The liver is the same thing. and it, They're fed with liquid. They're not fed with food. So if you want to really feed uh, your body, then you feed it liquids. We came up with six liquids, though, called the liquids of vitality. You can just put Dr. Robert Kassar, liquids of vitality. And we show you how to make, this is blue-green algae here. This has been matured for two days. You drink this. I drink two of these every day. Hey, look what it does for me. It does. It cleans up, it cleans up your body really, really good. Okay? It, I mean, it, your, 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 your skin is paper thin. And I can do the splits. I'm an old man, and I was totally degenerated about five, about seven years ago. What's that? Oh, you want to see? <laughs>